Hello there, you're with Star Television Network on Channel 21 and this is the National News Bulletin file with me, Sienna Wright. First, the headlines. Planned Parenthood Association of Sierra Leone has held a workshop on implementing policy advocacy for safe motherhood legislation in Sierra Leone on the 17th of July 2019. Pregnancy and childbirth of adolescents between the ages 15 and 19. 46.8 percent they have complications resulting from that pregnancy. Professor Fode Jarala has revealed that the EPA Sierra Leone has entered into official partnership with the United States Environment Protection Agency. In terms of the quality control management, we have conducted research on air and water quality and we have developed a draft regulation on air, water and soil quality to reduce the level of organic pollutants in our waters. The Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources has on Wednesday, 17th July 2019, held a validation workshop with stakeholders in the fishery sector. Validate the regulations of fisheries and the National Plan of Action, NPOA. And in sports, the chairman of the Eastern Lions Football Club, Ambassador Anthony Junior Navo, has said the Eastern Lions Football Club will miss the two sensational twins, Halasan and Alusain, for next season's Premier League due to their international contract in Spain. I am so happy at the same time I will miss them. In fact, they are my best of friends in the team. We all, always discuss, I always advise them as young brothers. Those were the headlines. Time for the news in detail with me, Sienna Wright. Planned Parenthood Association of Sierra Leone, a member of the International Planned Parenthood Federation, has on Wednesday, 17th July 2019, held a workshop on implementing policy advocacy for safe motherhood legislation in Sierra Leone at the Sarah Palms Resort Aberdeen in Freetown. Adma Samai has the detail. Giving an overview of the workshop, the advocacy manager, Planned Parenthood Association Sierra Leone, Julius Cole, said the three days workshop is aimed at engaging a pool of key actors, such as the lawmakers, government agencies, and educators, to discuss the importance not to ignore access to family planning and sexually reproductive health facility, including safe motherhood. With pregnancy and childbirth of adolescents between the ages 15 and 19, 46.8 percent they have complications resulting from that pregnancy adolescent 46.8 it's not good enough besides the high rate of teenage pregnancy we have very high rate of unsafe abortion, which stands at 25%. And the record tells us that the high maternal mortality rate, which we have, is closely linked to the high rate of unsafe abortion, especially among young people. Something has to be done. The third driver for the high rate of, of maternal mortality in Sierra Leone has to do with access to services. Family planning services are not readily accessible, especially in hard to reach communities, in marginalized communities, among young people out of school. 
the executive director of Planned Parenthood Association Sierra Leone, David Williams, in a statement said, maternal mortality is the barrier to development in a country, which is in the high increase globally, and Sierra Leone is one of the countries in the world with high rate of maternal mortality. As well as the we will have our objective on this workshop will be to understand the concept of gender and development rights issues, especially including abortion. We know we all know about gender and development issues, but we are not much more familiar with issues pertaining to abortion. It's important for us to address this morning. To discuss the status of the global state order with productive health being started. Initially, the bill went up to the point of presidential assent. Where it was turned down as one of the fact that space was not wide enough. Lots of people decided to make their own point in terms of bringing the bill before to go into stakeholders. And that's why today we are bringing parliamentarians and intelligence council professional leaders on board. So I know the you yourself be in position. Senior Advocacy Advisor, Lab Projects Coordinator for International Planned Parenthood Federation in Addis Ababa, Kudi Buja Jude, said the government has an important role to play, one of which is lawmaking, nothing that it is incumbent on the government to fulfill its obligation of lawmaking that provides comprehensive sexual and reproductive health services for its citizens. During this exercise, we shall be brought to examine our respective basic moral reasoning, identify the values that one finds most meaningful and important to help individuals, and to be able to clearly, clearly identify when these core values conflict with assumptions or actions informed by social norms and other external influences, and examine alternate values, their consequences on the lives of the population in general, and that of women, and young girls in particular. Permit me begin by making some startling revelations. It is stated that 22 million of unsafe abortions are committed every year globally, and that 6.2 million of these 22 million are in Africa, making 29% of the total number. Nearly 60% are by women under 25, that is under the ages 25 years. For Star TV News in Freetown, I am Adma Samai reporting. Well, the Executive Chairperson, Environment Protection Agency, Sierra Leone, Professor Fode Jawala, has revealed that the EPA Sierra Leone has entered into official partnership with the United States Environment Protection Agency. Here is the highlight of the report. According to the Executive Chairperson of the Environment Protection Agency Sierra Leone, Professor Fodi Jawad, the partnership, among others, is to seek international support in the areas of capacity building to address some of the challenges facing the Environment Protection Agency Sierra Leone. During the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding with United States Environment Protection Agency, Professor Jawad used the occasion to make a presentation on the environmental governance framework in Sierra Leone and possible areas of interventions and provided an overview of the important strides the government of Sierra Leone was making to improve on the country's environmental laws. In terms of the quality control management, we have conducted research on air and water quality and we have developed a draft regulation on air, water and soil quality to reduce the level of organic pollutants in our waters. Okay? And these draft regulations are currently with the law officers department. We've also developed sector-specific guidelines to ensure water and air quality control and compliance with requirements of EPA, okay? And the EPA, in collaboration with UNEP, is developing a national action plan on air water and quality management for hazardous chemicals as well. The good thing here is we have also developed what we call the ICAS, the Environmental Cadastral System for effective environmental monitoring and management. This one needs a whole lecture. For example, if you pay all your EIA license, you are due to get a license. As long as those steps are not done, you ask the machine to print the license, that license will never be printed. 
On the control quality management, Professor Jawad intimated that the Environment Protection Agency Sierra Leone have conducted research on air and water quality with a developed draft regulation on air, water and soil quality to reduce the level of organic pollutant. These draft regulations are currently with the law officers department. He further noted that EPA Sierra Leone is strengthening its monitoring activities on the operations of companies and the hotels industry to ensure compliance adding that compliance level has increased considerably with arrest of illegal companies which lack sophon being a classical example. I'm working with NMA to form a bond system for the mining companies. That one is in the embryonic stage and very soon you'll hear about it because mining companies go and then for some reason if um, they fold up they don't rehabilitate the land. So before you start mining you have to put a certain amount of money so once you are living, we can use that money to rehabilitate the land. The Environment Protection Agency was established by the Environment Protection Act of 2008 and amended in 2010 to protect the environment of Sierra Leone and effectively manage its natural resources. Compiled by Abdurrahman Kamara, I am Moses Oju Kamara reporting for Star News. The Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources has on Wednesday, 17th July 2019, held a validation workshop with stakeholders in the fishery sector to validate the revised fisheries regulation and national plan of action to combat irregular IUU at the ministry's conference hall. Here is the report. Key stakeholders in the fishing sector has unanimously validated a national plan of action to prevent, deter and eliminate illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing in Sierra Leone. The document, which was developed by the Ministry of Marine Resources, will focus on providing a framework for intelligence, cooperation and collaboration, which will help save time and money. To validate the regulations of fisheries, and the National Plan of Action, NPOA. As we always say, we are heading and we are forging ahead towards the export of our fisheries products and produce in the country. And one of our key requirement is the regulation and the NPOA. We have others that we've done towards the eradication or the elimination of the yellow card, but these are the two main outstanding ones that are left behind. Within the regulations, you will find most of what is in the Act, and for new things that occur every now and then that had not been in the Act, but has to be regulated by this ministry, you will find it in there. Sierra Leone, like many countries worldwide and within the sub-region, continues to express growing illegal fishing activities within their fishing waters and areas beyond national justifications. Such activities include reflagging of fishing vessels to invade control, fishing in areas of national jurisdiction without authorization by the coastal states. Validating the regulation, you will see that all of you here are uh, in that document how to implement it. Standards Bureau, the EPA, Environmental Issues, Ministry of Trade, we are all there to make sure that the trade issues, I remember the last act we used to have, it was more of fisheries management. But at that time, we don't have the value chain like from production to market. We stopped at the fisheries. My, the, the marketing aspect was a small, is it at section 100, I think? Small portion. But now you have to take it from production to the market, and you are all involved. There is no way we are going to implement the cash certification scheme without including Ministry of Health, Standards Bureau, Ministry of Trade, all of us. We have to make sure we have to come together to implement these, these, uh, these activities. The marine fishery sector contributes significantly to Sierra Leone's socio-economic development. The sector generated 70 
1.9 billion leons, that's equivalent to 9.6 million United States dollars in 2017, and 94.59 billion leons, equivalent to 11.78 million United States dollars in 2018. It contributes about 10% of the GDP and is the most important activity along the coastline of Sierra Leone. Compiled by Abdurrahman Kamara, Sierra Wright reporting in Freetown. And now to round up the new sports. The chairman of the Eastern Lions Football Club, Ambassador Anthony Junior Navo, has said that the Eastern Lions Football Club will miss the two sensational twins, Halasan and Alusain, for next season's Premier League due to their international contract in Spain. So, Hilton, what's new for Eastern Lions, the champions of the Sierra Leone Premier League? Good news in Eastern Lions Football Club, yes, according to the chairman of the club, who is Ambassador Gina Navu, that two players will be leaving the club for international contact, hopefully, in Spain. Among these two players is Alassane Koroma, one of the sensational players in the Sierra Premier League. He did well with Eastern Lions, the clinch championship. It could be recalled that he was part of the Maraba Star team, who played in the FA Cup organized by the Sierra Football Association, and also the national playoff. They were not out in the quarterfinals. Ambassador Gina Navo said they were missing these two young stars. He has the interview. I am so happy at the same time I will miss them. In fact, they are my best of friends in the team. We all, always discuss, I always advise them as young brothers. But this is good news for Sierra Leone. Our boys are going. For those other clubs, we've had a very good relationship with Marabasta is the Lions and we will continue with short relationship and um, I'm sure there will be other players that will go out there to fetch as our brothers progress to Europe and obviously personally as the chairman of Eastern Lions and like I said as an ambassador for young people I shall be visiting them there in Europe to continue my mentorship to them and I hope they will continue to be the good guys we know. In terms of behavior, they are well-behaved boys. They have the talent. They are not too aggressive or arrogant. They, I'm sure they are well brought up from their parents. And with the training that they've also took from John Kista, I think today this celebration goes to John Kista. Within the last few months that I have worked with him as head coach of East Alliance. His, his discipline around these boys. When, when I go for training and see John Kista training these boys in terms of discipline and control, I think Sireleon's football future, we have a future in football with people like John Kista. Not because he's, he's East Alliance coach. Like I said, arguably, again, he's the best coach in this country and we are happy to have been working with him. So with those few words, he has, he has said it all. Eastern Lions, we are happy. We are part of Madame Pasta. We are collaborating and getting these guys out to Europe. And of course, both teams are going to benefit from them. If they succeed, and we hope and we show by the special grace of God, they are going to succeed. It is good to see our young players getting professional contracts. We wish them all the best. Alassane Koroma and also Alassane Kamara and also Alusa and Kamara, the two Eastern Lions players that will be leaving the country in the next week. Nigeria are the third place winner in the 2019 African Cup of Nations after they secured one in victory against Tunisia. It was an interesting contest for both teams. Despite they failed to get a ticket to the finals, but the Nigerian did well in the third place. He has the highlight.
my name is the finance of the African Combination Live and Star Television. You get the opportunity to win yourself prizes from our sponsors, Rokel Commercial Bank and also Orange Mobile Company. The side called Senegal will be coming against IG. Both teams are determined to see who will be the winner in the 2019 African Cup of Nations hosted by Egypt. Arsenal have secured its own victory against Bayern Munich in the Champions International Cup. It's going to be conduct is part of the preseason of Arsenal Football Club. This is a good start of the club succeeded against Bayern Munich. He has the highlights of the game. Não faz o passe tudo à esquerda para Aubameyang que jogado pelo autogolo. Infelicidade terrível para Luis Pozmanski. Vai dar vantagem ao Arsenal. Tentativa de Aubameyang servir o coração da grande área onde podia aparecer o companheiro para emendar. Infelicidade do jovem Luis Pozmanski a bater Sven Ulreich ia marcar o primeiro gol da partida. Ernest é um atacante! Que maravilha! Lewandowski a fazer o que melhor sabe. E a cabecear para o empate. Passo fabuloso para a cabeça de Roberto Lewandowski. É impressionante. É uma, uma fábrica de gols. E se lhe deu uma imensa atenção a Tyrese John Rules. A cruzar para o golo do Arsenal. Vai resolver este desafio com os jogadores jovens do plantel. Congratulations to Arsenal Football Club who will see better performance on the club for the kickstart of the APL despite they were unable to get the tickets to the Champions League next season. But well, let's see what Arsenal will deliver in this year's competition. That's all for sports. Thank you very much, Hilton, for that sporting update. Well, viewers, that's all we have time for in the National News Bulletin 5 for the R on Star Television Network on Channel 21. I am Sienna Wright. Thanks for watching and do stay with us for more programs coming up.